Okay, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to animate and skin this character. First of all, I'm just going to grab these controls and I'm going to grab these IK really quickly and I'm just going to put an IK group up here. Press enter. I don't need to see the IK, IKs anymore. I don't need to see the bones really anymore, but I'm just going to leave them on. But I'm going to grab all of the controls. And if I just type up here, if I just look in the little arrow and hit control, it'll select them all for me. I'm going to hit auto key. And I'm just going to put three little hot keys just in case I lose one. And every about 10 frames, I'm going to put another one. I can hold down shift and drag to do that as well. It'll make sense in a second. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to start with no action. I'm going to go to five. I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to scoot it up, turn my bones back on so I can make sure that I see it. And I'm going to scoot it out to the side and I'm going to rotate the foot, maybe something like that. And I'm going to grab this one, scoot it to the back, rotate it down, scoot it to the side. These will be to test our skinning. I'm going to take the hand and I'm going to go down. And I'm going to take the head and I'm going to rotate it this way. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to take the head and go the other direction. We can only twist their head so much because our trapezius muscles get in the way and we're less flexible. I'm going to take this arm and I'm going to send it up. I'm going to take this arm and I'm going to take it up. I'm going to take my legs and I'm going to do the opposite action I did before. So I'm just going to scoot you up here. Push you out, take you back here. Left, right. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to arch my characters back. I'm going to start with here. His neck back. And then I'm going to take the arms backwards. I'm just trying to really make sure if there's an error in my character, I find it as early as possible but I won't know until I get to skinning it. I'm gonna take this character's legs, I'm gonna put them into the splits. Something like that. I'm gonna go 10 forwards. Got this one, 10 forwards. Just wanna check every single joint. I'm going to leave the arms alone this time. And I'm going to go forwards. And I'm going to grab these rings. Bend the character down. And I'm going to move the character forwards this time. Wait, you did forwards. Let's see. Check. We've got back, forwards. And I need left and right. No one piece will move your entire spine. I'm just going to do something like that. All right. That's a pretty good basic animation to test my character to see what's wrong. I think I'm going to make the character give me a quick give hug first. 
for a last thing. I'm just going to do something like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. And if I hide my main character and I hit play, I want to have something like that. Turn off auto key really quickly. And I'm going to control shift S to save, or I can go here and save as, because I don't want to save. I want to save it as another piece. And this is controls. This is animation done. Hit save. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to skin this character. I'm going to hide my controls. I'm only going to have my bones visible. I'm going to select the man layer, turn off freeze, and I'm going to go over to this modifier panel and I'm going to hit S K I N or skin. I'm going to edit envelopes, add bones. And if yours looks like this, if you go here, you grab a more a menu where how your will normally look. Yours will have all these on. It doesn't matter. These are just hiding. I just want to show nothing but bones. I'm going to hold control. I'm going to click, hold shift, click again, hit select. And now we're going to look at our animation. I'm just going to press one on my keyboard to get out of this. F4 to hide my lines. And I'm going to hit Alt X so I can't see through it. I'm just going to hit play and see what, what it did. There's lots of really, really weird errors. It does its best, but automatic's not, not great. I'm going to press one to go back into skin. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to hit voxel, hit this little arrow. And I'm going to hit or three bot dots. I'm going to hit apply. And it's going to do a lot better job. I'm going to hit one to exit again, hit play again. It's going to do a pretty good job. There's still weird errors going on. But it's not quite as bad. And so now we're going to fix these type of errors. So I'm going to press one to go into skin again. I'm going to go all the way to the top. And I'm going to make sure select vertices is on. That'll let me grab things like this. I'm going to go down and I'm going to make sure painted blend weights is off. And I'm going to find something that has a problem. F4 will turn my lines back on. And we're going to say our neck is doing some crazy stuff. So if I click on this little bone here, if I click a bone, I'll see what's controlling it. Red means 100% and gray means zero. And blue means almost nothing, but usually nothing. If I'm having trouble selecting them, I can go up to my layers and I can just click through this and press down to go through them. Look at my neck, that's the bone. Well, it's reaching, uh, I would rather it not go down so far. So I'm gonna grab this lower section. And I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna click paint weights, which will give me this giant tool. And if I click, it'll warp everything to 100% with a little bit of fall off. To change that, I'm gonna click these three dots and I'm going to say, let's make this smaller. I'm just gonna click and drag down. Something more like that. And I'm going to set the strength to 1 is 100%, 0. 0.5 is 50%. I'm actually going to set this to 0. 0.05 and hit OK. And I'm just going to paint through here. Don't do a whole lot of painting. Make sure that you move this and see what it's doing to see if it's actually improving it. Because it doesn't always improve it. Because we don't want it to go that far. Move it to the other side as well. Just 
paint a little bit, do a test. Let's just paint that up a little bit more, a little bit higher. Still a little weird. That's getting quite strange. I'm just gonna hold down Alt and click. Now, if you're getting into a weird error like this, if you hold down Shift, you can smooth it a little bit, but you usually have to turn up the strength again and they'll smooth it a little better. Sometimes you get something like that that just doesn't seem to, this tool doesn't wanna give you the right thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select individual verts like these. And I'm just holding control. I'm going to click this weight table tells me what every vert is and where it's controlled. If I go to this little wrench tool, the weight tool, I can tell it the zero, don't be controlled at all, the one, 100%, and I can turn it down by 0.5. So I'm just gonna select these I'm just going to turn them down to where they're not quite so aggressively changed. This gives you complete control over your rigging. Now, if I click these three, I can see which bones are controlling. See, a bunch of other ones are controlling it to like 10%. But I want to see if there's anything else that's controlling it more strongly. I'm going to grab this one. And it looks like this has no control over it, almost none. So I'm just going to turn it up to be more in line with the other bones that are next to it. So I can select these one at a time. I'm gonna go back to my paint weights tool. Set it to one, smooth it back out. Just holding down shift and giving it a little bit of a smooth. I'm gonna set this. 0 0.05 and I'm just gonna hold down alt. I'm just gonna, I don't want the head to can grab stuff down here. It's a little too far down. Set it back to one, hold down shift and just give it, smooth it back out. All right. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the rest of the body. I'm just going to look at the foot. I'm going to turn off my paint weights. I'm going to grab my leg down here. That's not good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to here. I want it to bend more solidly. Don't have it set on 1, 0 0.05. Make sure that I don't accidentally grab some stuff over here because it's really easy to do something like this and be controlling the wrong part. Do a little bit, scale it. Now it's going to bunch up and smooth it out really quickly. I'm just gonna hold down shift, give it a little bit of a smooth. Turn off paint weights. I'm gonna grab this bone, paint weights. Set it back to 0 0.05. Turn my size down a little. I want to make sure that it's a little harder up here. Any place I don't really want it to bend. And make sure you don't go too far before you do your animation. See, because that's too far. 
back to one, hold down shift, and just give it the old smooth. And you'll never be able to get this perfect with just this tool. There's another tool that we're going to need as well. Those are called blend shapes, and we'll talk about those more later. But what we're trying to do, and every so often, press one on your keyboard, press F4 to turn your lines off, and just hit play, and like scroll through it and see, does it look better? Because you can only do so much to it. Like this leg is no good at all, but this leg's at least looking more natural. Head looking better, arms looking fine. And this is what you actually want, something like this because this lets us control an awful lot of things. I'm just gonna close this. There's more that you can do, adding fingers, lots more controls, but this is where you should be for a basic rigging tutorial. Okay, I hope that helps. You just need to go through each section and do all of the limbs instead where I stopped with only a few.